Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, beloved people of God. Good morning this morning. For this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I'm not going to be long at all. I don't have much time. But God did give me a word to for someone today, this morning. And, and the purpose of the word is to lead you out of your prison. To lead you out of your dungeon. To lead you out of the place that you're in. See, some of you, you're in a, a prison. You're in an emotional prison. You're in a situation where you feel trapped. You feel stuck. But what I want to do, I want to give you the, the blueprint on how to get out. And God did give me a direct word for you this morning. And I'm going to release that word. And like I said, it ain't... I'm not going to be on here no more than five minutes, no more than five to seven minutes at, at the most. Let me turn this down a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and get started. I ain't going to be on here too long. Now, All right, we better. I'm back. I'm back. Amen. The word that God had given to me is that there's a turning, there's a turning that's taking place. And many people talk about revival. They talk about the spirit of God uh, pouring and God pouring the spirit up on all flesh, sons and daughters, prophesying young men, seeing, seeing visions. And, um, and he's going to pour spit up on the handmaidens. But many people think this big move is going to take place uh, like like with a loud voice, folk being screaming and yelling, being filled with the whole ghost. That can, that, that's going to happen. But the move that I, I hear that's taking place is a turning. It's an inward turning. There's an inward, there's an inward shift. There's an inward, um, God is dealing with the hearts. God is dealing with hearts. Of many, and that's what I feel. There was this one time that I had this dream, and in this dream, there was this one particular pop, uh, particular uh, pot, and in this pot there were all type of uh, different flavors, spices, and ingredients, and and then I saw this spoon being stirred and stirring it up, and then at a certain point in time, there came an aroma, and what I saw and what God was revealing to me that God is creating an aroma, and so what God is doing, God is bringing people in from the north south, east, and west, from every walk of life, and to come to agree, to agreement, because anytime there's an agreement, that's when God will speak, anytime there's an agreement, that's when God will manifest his glory, that's when healing will come forth, uh, when there's forgiveness, that's when, that's when his power will be revealed, but in order for the down to become blocked, in order for, 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 in order for the down to become released, there has to be a release. In order for God to move, then we must give God something. We must give God a heart. That's why God said to come unto me, all you that weary, heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And see, you're struggling. See, but you don't have to struggle. All you have to do is rest. Rest in God. And how do you rest in God? It's by trusting in God through his word, by saying, whatever it is that I'm facing, whatever it is that I'm dealing with, God, I don't want to feel this way no more. God, I don't want to hold on to this no more. God, I don't want to hate no more. God, I don't want to backbite no more. God, I want to love. God, you know, because the thing about it, when you quit the walls of this life, uh, you're going to have to give an account unto God. The Bible said unto man, uh, it's, it's put unto man to die. And after that judgment, in that day of judgment, what will God say? And so the thing that we need to do, we need to come together. See, because God said, if he be lifted up, he's going to do all the joint. This is the word. God said, Direct word to people, some that listen to me and that will listen to me. Your move and your deliverance and your healing is predicated on your forgiveness. God said that if you want certain things to move and you want certain things to be released in your life, they are being healed up because you hadn't really let it go. You hadn't let go of that issue. You hadn't let go of what those people done. 
You didn't let you you hadn't let go of your past, the relationship that you was in, that situation that you was in, you still hold on to it. And see what's happening is that your past is holding you up from your future. Your past is holding you up from your promised land. The unforgiveness in your heart has got you bound. You are bound because of you won't let go. And see what happens, you must be careful because even when your heart become when, when you become bitter or you become upset, you have to be careful because the longer you allow that pain or the longer you allow that problem to linger, the more you think about it, what happens is going to cause your heart to become hardened. That's why Jesus said the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. See, God wants to speak to your heart. God wants to get into your heart, but he can't get into your heart until you let and release your heart. In other words, you must break up that foul ground. And the way to break up that foul ground, some of you, God is so sovereign and God is so merciful that God sent trouble to your life. God sent trouble in your situation. And the reason God sent trouble in your situation, in your life, to cause, to disrupt, to shake up some stuff. See, because you wouldn't have done it unless God did it. You wouldn't have made a certain move unless God made a move for you. So God loved you so much that God brought trouble. He created trouble. He allowed trouble to come into your life that you might become broken. And at that place of being broken, that's when God can pick up the pieces. God said, God said, forgive. If you want to be blessed, if you want to move forward, good morning, Tammy, forgive. That's the word for the day, mercy. God said, mercy, blessed are merciful, for they shall receive mercy. David, David, all through when he became, when, when the women were going through the streets, when he had killed uh, Goliath, and the women were running through the streets saying, uh, Saul killed a thousand and David killed ten thousand. Saul had an evil spirit. He tried to kill David from that day forward. And David ran for a long time from Saul. But David had a chance when Saul was in the cave uh, asleep. David could have killed him. He cut it, he clipped his little skirt a little bit, but then his heart smoked within him and he said, I'm not going to touch him. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. And because I believe that because David extended mercy when he was justifying his own mindset or justifying his own way to get back at Saul because Saul was trying to kill him. But God, but David, God moved up on David and David had mercy. And he said, I'm going to leave him alone. And matter of fact, don't y'all touch him. And because David did that, God extended even a greater mercy to you. And so what God wants you to do today to break the spell, to break the hurt, to break the pain, to break that situation, God wants you to forgive. See, some of you, you, you are sick in your body. There are certain sicknesses in your body that's laying doormat. And the reason why these sicknesses in your body have laid doormat is because you won't release what you're holding. See, the thing about it, you need to understand, when you're holding something, see, if you hold it too long, it can turn. See, that thing, it can turn against you. That hate, that hurt. See, once was love, but then you was hurt. And see, that love then turned to hate or hurt. Or bitterness. And so you have to be careful because the Bible said, less a sweet a, a, a root of bitterness spring up on you. Wherein many people around you will be defiled. And so God don't want the people around you to be defiled. God don't want you to be defiled. But what God wants you to do, God wants you to kill that bitterness. He wants you to kill that hurt. He wants you to kill that hate. He wants you to kill that rejection. There's some of you that even in your childhood, you were rejected as a child. And all through your life, you were, you were, you received some harsh words. And the sound from those harsh words, way back from your childhood, is echoing. It's been echoing even through your life. Destruction been echoing through your life. Pain been echoing through your life. You were even told as a child you was no good. You're never going to be nothing. Matter of fact, you're going to be broke. You're sorry. Your mama was sorry. Your daddy was sorry. All these things, you are useless. You're not going to amount to nothing. Nobody cares nothing about you. All those things, that kind of voice has been echoing throughout your life. It's been echoing. The atmosphere, the sound, the hurts has been echoing. And your prison cell. See, your prison cell, you're inside, of the, you're inside the, the prison cell of an echo. And see, that sound just keep going and going and going. But God wants to heal you today, and he wants you to release it. Let go and let God, let God bring you out of that pain. And he will bring you through, and he will give you a song. He will give you a new song. He will give you a new praise. He will give you new understanding. But it takes you letting go. Letting go. That's why God said that he's married to the broken spirit, to the contrite heart. God want to deliver you today. I'm done. But that's my word today. Forgive. Forgive. The Bible said, how can you forgive? How can, how can God, the Father, forgive you who you've never seen when you walk around and see your brothers and your sisters every day and you can't forgive them? The devil's a liar. God will not forgive you. And so if you want forgiveness, you got to extend it. If you want love, you got to extend it. 
Whatever you need, you got to extend it. You got to plant it in the ground. This is your sowing season. It's time for you to sow love. It's time for you to sow repentance. It's time for you to sow peace of mind. It's time for you to sow liberty. It's time for you to sow unity. And in you sowing it, it's going to come up again. And matter of fact, it's going to come up fast. And so if you want to be blessed, if you want your harvest to come up fast, if you want your joy to come up fast, if you want you, what you've been waiting for, and this is what God put in my spirit too, there's something that God is holding on to you, holding on to. There's certain blessings that God is holding on to until you do certain things, until you release certain things. And the moment that you release those things, that you know what they are between you and God. And when you release those things, then your blessing, God's going to take his hand off your blessing. He's going to call it to be released to you. I'm done. Share this. Share this day. Somebody need to hear forgiveness. That's what we need. Forgiveness. God bless you. Amen. Have a good morning. God bless you, Debbie Lynn. God bless you, Tammy. Amen.